Hello all, this is RPG7, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get to the game that I wanted to Let's Play for this evening and this week just yet. Uh, I had a little bit of car problems this morning, or afternoon I should say, and I have to go get a tire fixed. Um, I blew a flat and changing the flat and all, I'm extremely tired right now, and I have to see how much I actually have to replace my tire. Um, but I will be continuing on with the Let's Play. I just have to decide which of the two games I'd wanted to do I will be purchasing in the end. Um, I had narrowed down my selection to the Heroes of the Annihilated Empires and World Rally Fever, Born on the Road. Um, one of the two... I'm not sure. It's going to be about 8 bucks for the 2, so I might be able to swing the 2, probably play the Heroes of the, Uni oh. Heroes of the Annihilated Empire this week. But for now, something I want to show you that I like about GOG, good old games. Um, if you go here, it should let you... This is my library. Um, I have a couple free games in here that I believe are still available. Uh, if you create an account at goodoldgames.com. I still believe you get the Ultima games and Lurker, Lure of the Temptress, Beneath a Steel Sky, and Teen Agent for free. So, what I want to do is I want to show you how GOG works. The, the, not how GOG works, but what makes GOG special. So, what I'm going to recommend doing is, what well, you have to do is when you find your game you go into your collection and you have a little thing here for your game I'm going to download Zork the Anthology right now and we are going to download this oops, re-download re-download game installer there we go and it is downloading, it's a few kilobytes so it shouldn't take that long to download and if you saw it is an executable so you'll have a little flash of do you want to download this executable it could be harmful for your computer so now that the executable is installed we'll close this and I'll wail over my downloads window and you see right here it is an executable there so First thing you guys might be thinking, all right, let me dive right into my DOS box and fire it up. Let me launch up my DOS box here. DOS box. And DOS box. There we go, DOS box. First thing you might be thinking, all right, it is down in my downloads folder. So what I want to do is I want to mount C. For me, it's D. forward slash downloads. Ah, I f okay. You might be thinking, oh, well, if I'm just going to mount C as data drive downloads. Loads. You might be going, all right. Well, it's an executable, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go. Uh, actually, I'm going to show the directory. I'm going to go, well, there's the setup for the game. Setup XEX. <gasps> What's this? The program must be run under Win32. This is a cool thing about GOG. It's a blessing and curse when you're Let's Playing, but it's a pretty cool thing for your average end user. I'm going to close this. We're actually going to go to the setup here. We're going to run it. It should be showing up. It might show up in my under other window first. Um, yes, it did. Let me drag this over here. Gaming purchase will be installed to see blah, 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 blah. I'm going to change that. Options. Give it a second. Options. There we go. Now, it has an option right here to install DOS, DOSBox with it. I like that option for one reason. If you do that... And let me change this because I will keep Zork on my Mac. Actually, I'm going to install Zork. It's a fun afternoon. 
and Puntful. Puntful is a fun game. And I will recommend for the five to six bucks it costs on GOG, pick up the Zork Anthology. It is just wonderful. Wonderful series of games. Why so lag, computer? My computer is being laggy today. I do not know why. I'm actually going to save it to... Game slash DOS. Okay. Plantful. Yay, Plantful. And I have read the end user license agreement. Install. The folder, I think it exists, but okay. So I'm going to create the folder. It's creating the folder. Installing, installing. It's installs, done. And of course, it did it over there. And if you look here, it created a whole bunch of shortcuts to the game. Now, when I launch them, or click on them, it will launch DOSBox and take up the full screen. Um, of course, up to my other screen. So I'm going to close that. But a problem off the bat you'll see is that... The DOS box configuration is optimized for the game, but it's not set under where's my configuration? DOS box. DOS box. It is not set up for recording through fraps or other methods that count on uh, direct set. Oh, on drawing method that I derp on name very, very hard right now. I'm sorry. It is going on 1130 right now. I think I am just going to whiz through to my DOS folder and show you what is going on. Um, sorry about rambliness. It's late. Okay, so you see here, it actually comes inside the DOS folder. I should have put it in Zork. Um, hey, I did have all this stuff installed. Anyways, right, it will have its own graphics mode setup, XEX. Run that. Throw it here. Oh, actually, it did default to OpenGL. Uh, what you do is set it to OpenGL. That's what I was looking for. OpenGL, and if you launch it with OpenGL, it will launch... Yeah, it will launch with OpenGL graphics. It gave me a quick error, but I realized that I wasn't running it in administrator mode. Remember, run it in administrator mode when you want to make error, uh, corrections to a file. Okay, now that that's taken care of, you know how DOSBox operates. It's on shortcuts, and if you want to change your graphics, it is in. It's usually installed with it. Um, let me pull up my Ultima. My Ultima. Should have the graphics set up XEX somewhere. Hello, there, right there. Graphics mode set up so that you can on the fly change it. Uh, let's say I wanted to do let's play Ultima right now. You could bring it over here, mess with the settings, do advanced settings, scaling, and all that fun stuff. Resolution, season support, even supports mouse sensitivity. So it's actually pretty nice. Gog, definitely check it out. Now that I've wasted 10 minutes of your time, I'm going to bed. Have a good one, all.